few people stopped to consider the implications of laws that shifted the breakup of private households from a voluntary to an involuntary process. Okay, involuntary divorce by its nature requires constant supervision over private life by state officials. Most Americans are shocked when they find out what goes on today under the name of divorce. Divorce now licenses the power to evict innocent citizens from their homes, to seize their children, confiscate their property, and jail them without trial. Comprised of family courts and federally funded social service bureaucracies that wield police powers, the divorce machinery has become the most repressive sector of government power ever created in the United States. Though the divorce courts reside at the bottom of the judicial hierarchy, they have some of the most sweeping powers. Uh, and moreover, their own rulings consistently give themselves yet more power. The courts having successfully asserted the power to take children from legally innocent parents, other violations of basic constitutional rights and civil liberties flow just naturally and almost inexorably, as much as one lie necessitates another.